you joined us on starting up it's been a big week for the field of e-commerce and that's because valuations are going through the roof whether it's flipkart.com a snap deal well they're cashing in so we decided to pay a tribute to all this activity this week and replace super angels with a special it's a trend that could well be the next buzzword from group shopping to private sales it's all happening here and Davina Munro goes shopping for us and tells us what the fuss is all about. Yes, Tanya, I'm at the diesel showroom surrounded by a collection that leaves me spoiled for choice. But what some of these shoppers here don't know is that they can get a few of these items at a much cheaper price online. It's premium, it's exclusive, and that's really what private sales is all about. No doubt that private sales has been given a boost by the interest that investors have shown in e-commerce, so maybe it's time for them to shine. <laughs> July 28, 2011. Decimal Ventures leads the second round of funding in group shopping platform Snapdeal at a whopping $40 million. This values the group shopping e-commerce platform at a whopping 1,000 crore rupees. Other developments on the anvil is India's Amazon Flipkart, which is all set to raise $150 million from private equity firm General Atlantic Partners, thus valuing it at a whopping $1. Revenues of both these sites stand out at about 100 crore rupees, which means that the ratio of their valuation to their revenues lies anywhere between 10 and 40x. Is this the arrival then of the big Indian e-commerce bubble? I don't know what bubbles mean necessarily. Uh, a lot of people associate bubbles with overvaluation of, of companies. You know, valuations of companies are determined basis the potential in that business in the long run. There are a lot of companies that are getting funded. Uh, some will execute better than the others. And the ones that will execute better will use the capital that they are raising currently to build strategic advantage in the market. 